So good morning. My name is James and I'm with Seven Devils Mining. So today I kind of want to get back to the basics of it. You know, our first video was us out, you know, basically playing in February, snow on the ground. Got some good gold. Um, but I got a lot of questions and I got a few emails saying, hey, where do you start? And this is where it starts. All mining starts and finishes with the gold pan. So this is a Proline Professional Gold Pan, uh, my personal favorite. There's a, quite a few good ones out there. I'd say stay away from the Chinese stuff. Um, the Gold Pan's less than 10 bucks. It's probably not worth owning. Um, you can usually tell they're pretty shiny. They crack real easy or they taco when you fill them up with dirt. But first, what do you do first? Okay, you buy your Gold Pan. Um, like I said, try to go to a local store, put your hands on it it try and taco it you know there's nothing worse than picking up a pan full of dirt and it just turns into a taco so make sure it's good quality strong uh, these get thrown at each other all the time they're good frisbees dog bowls water bowls whatever you need but when they come new from the factory they have a release agent on them when they're molded they put a oil product on them to get them to come off the mold well, as gold miners, oil is our nemesis. We don't like it. It makes gold float. If you're new to this and you've never seen gold float, uh, we'll try to do a video on that later, but it does happen and we don't like gold to float. So, how do you get rid of it? Everybody has their own way. My personal is Dawn. I always have Dawn in my pack. It's great for seasoning oil pans, washing hands before you eat anything. If you get poison oak, on your skin, uh, I don't remember the name of the chemical, but Don has a substance in it that will neutralize poison oak, keep from spreading. Yeah, you're gonna itch, but Don's the best thing. So you take said oil pan, put some soap on it. It's oil, we wanna degrease it. Old scratchy sponge, whatever you wanna call it. Give it a little bit of a scrub. Just make sure you get in all the little cracks everywhere in there and this can take a few minutes the first time so that's how I do it but my personal preference is I like to put a little bit of dirt in with it this is just dirt from the driveway some guys like to use sandpaper aggressive materials I just like to scrub that scope soap in with a little bit of dirt you hear that sound it's seasoning this paint a it helps with the scrubbing gets all that oil off and it re really <laughs> helps that oil just go away so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for a second this is tedious and I'm sure you don't want to see it all I'm doing is pushing with a little bit of force and scrubbing in this brand new gold pan and that's all I'm doing so I'm probably gonna fast forward this but here it is anyway. Okay, so now we've scrubbed our new gold pan. Um, what's step number two after you get it all clean? Well, now we got to learn how to pan. The panning is nothing more than the process of pushing off all the light materials, leaving the heaviest gold in the bottom of the gold pan. Biggest question, biggest issue, people are scared. Um, it's nothing to be afraid of. You're not gonna lose gold. When we start tipping and dipping and pushing, Gold pans are designed to capture gold. Try not to get nervous. Now, I like to get in the water. So, that's all the material that I dumped in there before. <sighs> Got a couple of snuffer bottles that I found from some of last summer's adventures. Uh, not exactly sure where the gold came from, but I'm gonna pour it in this pan because everybody likes to see shiny stuff. Let me show you how the process will work. So I'm gonna dump that in there.
and then we're going to do some panning again a million ways to do this um, as long as your end product <laughs> is having gold in the pan you're doing it right um, I suggest to people all the time set up a little station just like this these smaller concrete mixing totes are cheap they're uh, pretty high quality they actually uh, last quite a while I'm uh, not good on my gear I'm never the guy that just gently places things on the ground especially when I'm on the field I'm the guy that throws stuff and they hold up so and they're eight bucks so let me uh, reorientate the camera a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm doing and we'll, uh, we'll get some gold painting on so here we are in case you're wondering we're out here in uh, I like to call this the mobile command center number one um, it's my trailer my camp trailer it's the only quiet place I could find those of you that have dogs and children and streets next to your house you understand so here this is the perfect perfect spot so you've got your material in your pan um, what I'm doing right now is just the scientific world is called stratifying i'm stratifying all this material i'm breaking it up the gold is falling out on the bottom um, layman's terms i'm shaking the pan i like a little bit of a circular motion i have a little bit of a tilt towards the camera on it just to make sure that the gold's falling in the crack now something to keep in mind when i'm going to start dipping on this and pushing the gold out if you look at the pan sideways the gold's going to collect over here it, i'm not going to lose it confidence is key so it's basically shake it up stratify it try and keep an angle so that the gold is falling to the lowest point and you got riffles just in case you think you're gonna lose it and then it's no more complicated dip push dip push dip push do that a few times and then start over again not complicated that's why the men and the women in the olden times could do this with ease and very fast. I'm not fast. I hate gold panning. There's machines that can do this for you. But even at the very end, you're going to end up with a gold pan. So I like to push and dip, I don't know, four or five times. And then bring it back up and mix it back up, stratify it again. There's nothing in this gold pan, shouldn't be anything in this gold pan, close to heavy as gold. But if you start seeing a little bit of gold, maybe a fishing weight, then you got to slow down. So I'm starting to see a little bit of gold, so I'm going to slow down. It's a very simple process of getting the light materials off, keeping the heavy materials in the pan. All this black, darker material is what we call black sand. It's a very uh, innovative word. Um, because it's black and it's sand. It also happens to be mostly iron magnetite heavier base elements Stays in the bottom of the pan with the gold So you bring it up and you shake it lighting in here is not that great, but you can see The blonde material the lighter material both in color and in weight comes up to the top My riffles are starting to catch Some gold trying to sneak out. So I'm gonna go over to the smooth side of my gold pan now and now's when you really got to slow it down but as you're dipping and you're watching and you're dipping and you're watching you can see if that gold's leaving bigger rocks I like to go ahead and just rinse off and push out get them out of my way again gold's the heaviest thing in this pan we're not gonna lose any even if we did lose it out of our pan it's in a tub it's captured it's not going anywhere a very tedious meticulous process especially when you get down like this now I can tell just by looking at the amount of gold in here uh, this was a dredge clean out probably one of the smaller dredges the two inch maybe uh, doesn't look like a ton of gold but it looks like ancient chunky gold um, and we're here because we like gold gold is fun yeah my preferred method <laughs> is to dredge for it. I don't discriminate against high banking, sluicing, metal detecting. Just my preference is to dredge. Metal detecting is kind of fun. You get into some other types of treasures other than just gold, which again, 
pretty cool. So that's a big piece of gold right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reposition the camera so you can get a good look at this. And then we'll do our final swirl. Right back at you. Okay, welcome back. This is kind of difficult to do with one hand and by myself, but we're going to make it work. So, basically I've got all my material in one side, one corner of my pan. I'm going to tap. Gold will walk underneath the black sand into pushes to wherever I'm tapping. Then I'm going to gently bring it up. Yeah, we can see there's some, there's some gold in this pan. So we're just going to, at this point, try to clean it up. We're just going to swirl. Pretty simple process of just swirling. We're trying to bring the black sands down to where we can easily pick up what's left of the gold. Again, I'm going to put the water over the top of it. I'm going to tap it. That's just going to cause the gold to walk. And I apologize for it being terrible to see. But there again, just trying to clean it up. Trying to walk the gold that way so the black sands stay on this side. It makes it just a little bit easier to get off of there. I'm actually feeling very sad right now because I cannot believe I left this snuffer bottle in the mobile command center number one. I mean, as it's got, you know, I'll wait later, but I'm guessing it two or three grams in it. Two or three grams at today's market value is definitely paying some fuel costs. So, uh, yeah, don't lose your snuffer bottles in your camper. That's a bad idea. Anyway, I'm just washing the black sands down. Small chunks of gold keep coming down. Small-ish ones that I'm not too worried about. Um, you just want to get the bulk of it. Get the bulk of the gold out, clean, and then do all this again. And get the bulk of that gold, whatever's left over, down there. Which is a couple little pieces. And that little nuggy keeps trying to get away. See how it just dances away? But just trying to bring that gold, get the gold clean and bring the black sands down. Again, it's a little bit tedious. I have a lot of patience, but there are machines out there that do most of this work for you. Um, yeah, I don't. If you're just starting out, I would suggest just get a pan. Find your local club, whether it be a GPAA, a prospecting club. Um, if you live in California, I would highly recommend AMRA. I was a member of AMRA for a lot of years till I moved to Southern Idaho for other re reasons. Um, nothing to do with gold mining, but everything else. So that's enough about me, but AMRA's a good organization. Shannon, the president, he's a really good guy. He'll do anything for you. And there's not a lot of people out there fighting for our rights anymore. And he's one of them. Um, but pretty much throughout the country, um, there's clubs. Uh, there's Facebook groups. There's a lot of places to find buddies, to find uh, claims. You don't necessarily got to go drop $10,000 to join or to to buy your own claim especially just starting out you know join a club most clubs have some pretty good claims um, then you make connections and then you make friends and then you get outside and you do super awesome things then you get gold pans with gold in them then you do it for a while then you can decide whether you want to go for the gusto and buy a gold claim and start buying high bankers and dredges and metal detectors and and uh, but start off small get the gold pan join a club don't blow your money yet it's kind of hard I tell customers all the time hey you probably don't want to buy 
the biggest dredge or the biggest baddest metal detector you can just yet uh, get out there and give it a try first so when I get to this point I reach into my bucket and get my snuffer bottle another little trick is you can kind of shoot the water in push the black sands away and then tap notice how I have black sands on this side and gold on this side so I'm going to try to suck some of that gold out because I know the left side is pretty clean snuffer bottle is just a little vacuum squeeze it it shoots a little bit of water out and then when you release it it's a miniature dredge be careful don't say that too loud they'll try and make it illegal but right now just trying to get the bulk of this gold out which is proving to be a little harder than I expected because that piece won't go up the nozzle it's actually my favorite time when the gold won't go up the snuffer bottle nozzle then I'm gonna tap and the same thing gold has moved over to the left black sands to the right I'm just gonna suck up what I can and sometimes end up doing this three or four times get it super clean the cleaner the better the prettier that right there I don't know if you can see that that's just a piece of lead it's not gold <laughs> but cleaning our rivers of the lead is the byproduct of what we do lead sometimes you get a little piece of mercury sorry about the bubbles but at the end of the day we're cleaning the rivers now one of my favorite things to do when I got a piece about Yogi Big what we would call a picker is drop in the pan <laughs> love that sound and it's all about listen oh that's my favorite sound when you got gold that does that you know you're in a good spot all right so now that I have the bulk of that gold out I'm gonna start over again <laughs> and I'm just gonna make sure see how much flowed from the top of the pan to the bottom of the pan without me catching it and I apologize about the bubbles but when you got soap in your bucket you're gonna get bubbles and I do recommend putting soap in your buckets because it breaks the surface tension so like we spoke about earlier makes gold not float and gold not floating is good because then you can actually get it out of there I know it's kind of hard to see but I'm going through this kind of fast because I obvious obviously I missed a bunch and I'm just trying to get it out of there as quick as I can because I don't like gold painting but like I said gold painting or gold mining in general starts and stops starts and ends with the good old gold pan so now same thing I'm going to suck it out from the left to the right leaving the black sand and I had a floater get away there we go got him that's a little piece of lead there is a few little chunks of gold in there so now I'm gonna clean this pan out and then just dump the gold back in because everybody likes looking at gold so I've cleaned the gold out of that pan the best I can now I'm just gonna dump what should be mostly clean gold back in the pan a little water in the snuffer bottle shake it up a little more just so everybody can get a view of what gold looks like make sure to put our chunky back in there love that sound and I'm just gonna flay it out now there's about a million different ways to do this um, everybody kind of will eventually learn their own um, 
but that is not bad for gold I forgot I had and I'm just gonna suck that back up and then vial it up um, I normally don't weigh my gold until I get a big old vial full of it um, but that looks <laughs> like that whatever trip that was that I totally forgot about that was a good trip so now that we've made a pretty good mess in the mobile command center number one um, that's going to conclude our talk on gold pans and basic gold panning now don't flame me this gold came from a trip I didn't I obviously salted it but don't put me in the same category as some others that pretend the gold comes out of thin air um, again, best bet, find yourself from a local shop some gold pans, find a club, find an organization, uh, GPA is okay, AMRA is okay, all the different prospecting agencies, we all work together, most of them have claims, um, don't run out and buy the first claim you see on Facebook, <laughs> learn the craft first, and there's only about 100 different ways to do it decide where you want to go from there to all you group out there that are experienced miners there's a lot of them out there even more experienced than me um, I hope you take a little little bit of knowledge from this this little instructional video um, like I said it's very simple it's not rocket science you just got to do it. You got to build your confidence. And the best place to build your confidence is in your kitchen, in your garage, in your basement, in the wintertime. Find yourself a little bit of gold, whether it be from one of the online places where you can buy uh, flower gold or placer gold, as we call it. Uh, practice. Mine it out of there. Put some more dirt in your pan. Mine it out of there again. The only way to learn this is by doing the armchair commandos, keyboard warriors, whatever you want to call them. They do not know how to gold pan. They can tell you the physics behind it. They can tell you how they have been told or read to do it. But until you get out there, do it yourself and learn. Uh, that's the only way you're going to get good at it. Uh, so the channel's brand new. Everybody knows this. The company's been around a couple years. Uh, we're mostly a ProLine dealer. I want to start bringing more videos of of us out there having a good time and then break that up with an instructional video like this. I don't know. Here it is February. It's still 30 degrees outside. I live in the valley um, in Idaho. The Most of our claims are still under six feet of snow. Um, we can't get out there. Then we have to wait till snow runoff, when all the rivers swell. But after that, um, dredging seasons open up. And for me personally, that's my favorite way to mine for the gold. We do some high banking, as evident of our last video. Um, actually, kind of shocked us that we actually found that much gold. But at the end of the day, that trip was us sitting around all winter, wanting to go out but being stuck inside because it's cold and I don't remember who it was. somebody just said hey let's just go let's just go I don't care if it's 20 degrees outside in the shade and the winds blowing let's just go it ended up being a really nice day so if you haven't watched that video I suggest you go back watch that one uh, first half's kind of boring second half's not um, it was a great day at the end of the day we're out there to have a good time um, this is not a recreational activity that is a word that we need to get away from because if it's a recreational activity then it can be regulated and taken away from you this is a small scale mining operation this by itself is a small scale mining operation um, and that's my spiel for today on the political side of it don't get me started that's a whole nother video series but for now look at your clubs get yourself a gold pan mixing tub start practicing these are used for everything on the mining claim cleanups panning we uh have been known to put strings in them and tow them around as sleds so i hope you learned something from this 
short video. See you next time. Next video is probably going to be some kind of high banking adventure. Uh, there's no dredge seasons open yet. Uh, but I think there's a few places we can get a high banker in. Uh, and we'll go from there. Have a good one.